Hi, after a recent video I did on how to design a flyer in Word, I realised that after you've actually exported your image, you obviously want to be able to send that to a printers or um, import it online somewhere. And so really you need to know how to convert your image into a JPEG. So this is what this video is all about. So I've come up with a very simple design here of a flyer that I've, um, I've recently done in Word. It's just for example purposes. So after testing numerous ways in which to do that, I found that the best and highest quality you're going to get is simply from a screenshot. So I'm working on a Mac, so in order to get a screenshot, I will simply press Command, Shift and number four, and you'll see my cursor changes into this little cross. And all I'm gonna do is go to the corner of my image and I'm simply going to drag out to the edges of my image and that has now taken a screenshot. So if I now go up to my window and go to desktop, you will see that my screenshot is here. But it's actually in a format of a screenshot PNG and I would like it into a JPEG. So I am going to drag and drop this into my Photos app. And here you see it's in my Photos app. I'm going to double click and I'm going to go up to the Edit. Then I'm just going to crop this image just to ensure that I haven't got any of the white surround that Word might give me as I've cropped it. I'm going to press Done. Then I'm going to go to File, Export, Export One Photo. Then I'm going to ensure that I've got JPEG checked, maximum checked. Now it will normally um, be defaulted to most compatible, but I'm actually going to check sRGB full size and then I'm simply going to click export. Here I've given the option of where to export my image to and I'm simply going to export it to my desktop and click export. Okay, now you can see in my desktop file here I've got the screenshot I took as a PNG file and now I've got my JPEG here. So if I just click on my JPEG, you can see now I've converted my poster that I made in Word into an image. And if you don't like this file name, you simply go up to the file name and change the file name. And there you have it. I hope that's helped. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.